I try not to use this phrase lightly, but my mind has absolutely been blown. First, there was small developer, but there's a new AI coding partner on the block and it is absolutely incredible. Let me show you what I've been able to do the first time. No edits, no bug fixes, no nothing. This is the game Snake. I have not been able to get any other large language model to create this on the first pass. And this new project called GPT Engineer is absolutely able to do this the first time. I'm gonna show you how to install this, I'm gonna show you how to use it, and you're gonna have your mind blown as well. Let's go. This is GPT Engineer. It's a pretty new project, and it aims to take the AI assistant development world to the next level. If you remember a couple weeks ago, I made a video about Small Developer, which was an amazing first take at being able to describe a project and having AI completely write it for you. But it had a lot of shortcomings. This aims to address many of those shortcomings. So let me show you how to install it. So you're really only gonna need one thing for this project, and that is Conda. And that is to avoid any Python and module versioning issues. And I've been using it on all my projects now, and it has saved me a ton of headache. So the first thing we're gonna do is clone the repo. So come to GPT Engineer's GitHub page and I'll drop the link in the description below. Click this little green code button and click this copy button right next to the repo address. Then we're going to switch over to terminal. Now we're in terminal. I'm on my desktop and I'm going to say git clone and then paste the repo in and hit enter. And that's going to clone all of the files necessary to my desktop. Then let's change directory into GPT Engineer. Now we're in that folder. The next thing we're going to do is create a new conda environment using a recent version of Python. So here I do conda create dash dash name, we're going to call it gpt dash eng, and we're going to use Python 3.11.3 and then we hit enter. Now it says I already have an environment that exists and that's what I've been using to test so I don't mind removing it. You won't get this error though. Then it asks me if I wanna install all the necessary packages, yes of course. And the next thing we're gonna do is activate the environment and it gives us the code to do that right there. So I copy it, I hit paste and it's conda activate gpt dash eng, hit enter. Now you can tell we're in this environment because over here, instead of base, it says gpt-eng. The next thing we're gonna do is install all of the necessary modules using this command. Python-m pip install-r requirements.txt. Now, the reason I don't do pip directly is because I always wanna make sure that I'm using the correct Python version associated with the Conda environment. So by starting this command with python-m, I'm ensuring that Python is associated with the correct Python version. Then I hit enter. There, it installed everything I need. The next thing I'm gonna do is open VS Code and then open the specific directory, GPT Engineer. And I already have it open here. So to define the project, we're gonna look for the example directory. You can name it anything you want, but I'm gonna leave it as example. Open it up and there's gonna be the main prompt. And this is where you're gonna describe the type of project that you want written by GPT Engineer. For the example is, we are writing Snake in Python, MVC components split into separate files, keyboard control. That's all the example prompt says. You can be as detailed as you want. Now, when we actually run the program, it's gonna ask clarifying questions, which I find to be so cool. So I'm gonna leave it very simple so you can see it ask for clarifying questions, and then I'll show you what I do from there. So the next thing you need to do is get the OpenAI API key. And if you don't already have an OpenAI account, go ahead and sign up for one and then create an API key. I've done that and I'm going to enter it right here. So you type export open AI API key equals and then you enter the API key. Keep in mind, I'm going to rotate this API key before publishing this video. Then I hit enter and that's it. The next thing we do is run the main file. And to do that, we type python main.py example. An example is referencing the folder that contains that main prompt file. Now, if you change the name of that example folder, you would change it here as well. But I didn't, so I'm going to go ahead and push enter. And immediately, it asked me for areas of clarification. So here it is. Summary of areas that need clarification. Details about the snake game, rules, features, etc. Specifics about the MVC components, model view controller, how to handle keyboard control in Python, file organization and structure. Now the first time I did this, I didn't give it all of that. I just told it about the snake game. And instead of typing it all manually, I actually went to ChatGPT and said, I'll put all the rules of the snake game. Let's take a look at what that looks like. So here it is. Write a description of the rules of the game snake so that an engineer could build it. 
and then ChatGPT gave me everything I need. So I'm just gonna copy this. I'm gonna switch back to my terminal and then I'm gonna paste it in. Then as soon as I do that, it's gonna start outputting what it's gonna be building. And we're watching that right here. So it says we're gonna need a snake class. We're gonna need a food class. We're gonna need a game class, a game view. And it just outputs everything it's gonna be building. Now I'm gonna speed up this part of the video, but you can watch it as it goes. And now it's actually writing out the files. Okay, I think it's done. It actually output a lot of what I pasted in here after it was finished creating everything, but that doesn't matter. It should still have worked. So now that we're back in Visual Studio Code, we look at the example folder and below that we look at workspace and there it is all the files that it just created. So if we look at main.py, this is what starts it out. It has the snake class, the game class, the game view class, it has everything. And that's it. Now you have a GPT engineer that can write you entire projects with a single prompt. I encourage you to get really detailed in the prompt description. The one feature it doesn't seem to have currently is being able to read an existing code base and iterate on it. Although maybe that's gonna come soon. I'll try to reach out to the author and see if it is coming. So check it out, let me know what you think. If you have any problems getting it installed, jump in my Discord, I'll help you out. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving me a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.